Hoo wee, what a week, guys. What's up, everybody? Brian Mann here, hands on auto training. It is July 29th, 2022. Guys, we got the drawing today. We're going to be giving away this PicoScope 2205A kit. Um, guys, I'm going to share with you a capture that I got today using the same exact scope. Uh, here I have it. This is PicoScope. Uh, I think this is PicoScope 7 uh, test measure early access, but I have it up on the screen over here on regular PicoScope 6. Guys, this is a Ford, uh, actually Lincoln Expedition, I believe, a 2010 here, and we've got ourselves a cam sensor code going on, a P0340 and a P0344 setting for the Bank 1 cam. And if you look at what we have going on here, we're not so worried about these little spikes, just so you know, whenever you see little spikes like that, they usually don't mean anything. If we zoom back out on here, our cam signal on this vehicle should be 123 and then a space or a pause and then a one and then another space or pause and then another one and then a one two three again as you see here we have a situation where we got a very little blip here guys what was going on here is right at this point right here the on the uh, cam reluctor which is on a cam phaser the tooth was much shorter this is a remanufactured engine that was just installed and uh guys that's what i found on it pretty simple stuff but uh this is using the picoscope uh 2000 series i want to let you guys know you can see here the resolution isn't quite as good as we'd like or what we can get on a uh, 4000 series of course guys i have a 4000 series i use often but i've been using this one right here that i'm going to give away in just a second i use this one all the time uh, because it's very uh, easy to handle very small lightweight compact and uh, really gets the job done pretty well i can't complain about that so oops get this picture and picture off there we go anyhow uh that being said I also had an un another interesting vehicle today, a 2014 Hyundai Elantra. This Hyundai Elantra uh, has a coil that burns up. It turns out this vehicle went to a shop because uh, some rodents had chewed on the harnesses, and the shop repaired a bunch of wires on this thing. And this is my second rodent damage car this week, I believe, or maybe my third. Um, but this one uh, was burning up a coil. If you let it run for a period of time, the coil would actually start smoking for cylinder number three. Well, it turns out it took me a long time to find this. I'm not joking, guys. I was there longer than I want um, with an amp meter on the coil wire uh, or either side of the coil wire. It's a two-wire coil. Um, at times, we'll get 12 amps. Um, you know, it'll shoot up to 12 amps, and we'll see it be there solid. And I was wiggling around harnesses and stuff, and it would go away. And it turns out that these coil control wires that go between the coil and the ECM have a shield on them. And this shield was actually, like, tore up, but also the insulation of the main wire was tore up as well. And the shielding was sometimes contacting and sometimes not. The shop didn't see it. They taped that up thinking they were doing a good job. But actually, that was causing all the problems. So that was an interesting one. I was so close to finding it within, like, 10 minutes of me being there. Um, but I, I overlooked it and I was trying to test all kinds of stuff and I was trying to think of a good way to test this. I had my amp clamp on there watching it. I was using my clamp meter, not the uh, clamp on a scope. I, I did use my clamp on a scope a little bit, but uh, uh, clamp meter was enough. We didn't need super good resolution because wiggling that harness, seeing it uh, go up to 12 amps, that's a problem. So, uh, guys, that was uh, really uh, my adventures for the day. It's like so close, but so far, that's, you know, how it is sometimes. The fact of the matter is don't give up when you're working on these cars. Sometimes if you throw the towel in early, you're going to overlook something and not, uh, not find it. I was really close to packing up, telling the shop to run another harness. I actually ran a jumper wire and, you know, verified we didn't have any shorts. I knew it was in a harness somewhere, but it turned out to be really close to where the ground wires were chewed through, and those ground wires went to that shielding. So, very interesting stuff guys it's time for the drawing i'm happy to do this this is a drawing for anybody that signed up for the core or premium memberships just so you see the names are in the bucket and two names fell out and i'm picking them up and put them back in right now i know this is not uh, exactly scientific guys but it is what it is we're just gonna pick these up and do this a couple times i'm making sure i'm just grabbing one here and here we go drum roll please frank d Frank D, you are the winner of this PicoScope kit, and I think I know who this is. I'm going to have to double check this, but I think this might be a local shop owner. I will get this out to you if you are. If you're not, um, if I will email you and let you know. So congratulations, Frank. You won the PicoScope kit. I think it'll make a big addition to your shop and uh, your team there. So guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do let me know. Um, today, I just recorded a, uh, a complete uh, recording of a 2017 Dodge Caravan 
uh, PCM prorating procedure. This is the way I do it, you know, uh, pulling a pin code uh, with a device and then going ahead through the whole procedure with YTech. I have that all recorded. That should be up on the membership site probably in the next two or three days or sooner. So you guys have a great weekend. I appreciate everybody's support. If you like this content, please do like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll see you. Bye-bye.